Hello Facebook world. It's new me to be 72, also known as Brenda. And um, I am giving you my experiences on an FNA, a fine needle aspiration biopsy for my thyroid. Um, a little back history if you're just watching this for the first time and you don't know my channel. Um, I had bariatric surgery on October 14th while I was in the hospital after the surgery. They thought they heard something in my lungs and um, I don't remember if I had a uh, alt uh, brain just went dead. x-ray. Um, but they did send me down to have a CAT scan done because they thought something was wrong. My lungs were fine, but they noticed there was a um, nodule on my um, left tonsil. Left tonsil. My left thyroid, part of my thyroid. I'm gone. Um, so they wanted me to, you know, be check with my doctor and my doctor had set up an um, ultrasound and I went in had the ultrasound done and it is a rather large nodule and um, with a cluster of clear but uh, cysty ones but the, the nodule itself is solid I hear something in my wall my kids on the other side of the wall over there so on the other side of that wall so I have no idea what he's doing sounds like there's something behind the entertainment center um, but uh, uh, they set it up for the FNA um, the, the fine needle aspiration or the biopsy so my experience with the biopsy I was really scared to go in to get it done today so I had my husband there, but he didn't come in back in the room, but my sister did. Um, she came back in with me, and um, they looked at it through the ultrasound, you know, to get and did the size measurements, which I told her I think I'm, it might have grown because I'm kind of feeling it now when I swallow. Um, so she did the measurements of it, and then... Um, he came out, and I don't remember what you call him, but he did my the biopsy itself. So they did give me, he checked it out himself with the ultrasound so he can see it himself. And um, I was laid flat on my back and I had a rolled up towel under my neck so that my neck was back like this. And... He did shoot it with some lidocaine and to numb this area right here. The shot felt like a uh, bee sting and it burned a little bit. Um, I mean, it wasn't, I, I mean, it wasn't that bad. I mean, it was um, like a bee sting and a burn. So, um, so it did sting and, um, and the burn lasted for a half a minute, a minute or something like that, if that. And um, then he had the ultrasound set up and the needle, which I didn't, I didn't actually see. This is, I know that they set the ultrasound up, fixed that up. And then the needle, I don't know if it was all part of one unit, but I did you know, lift my head back because I can see the screen right here. All right, go, Skylar. <laughs> um, he was laying behind me. Um, the uh, screen was behind my head, so I was kind of peeking at it. And you can see the needle going in to the nodule itself. And then you can see it going like, like this. So they were, I guess, aspirating it, I think he called it. And they did it four times. They went in four times. And um, the reason why they did it the fourth time is because um, the person who reads it wasn't 
he was supposed to be in the room and and so that he can collect all of everything and get it set up to do the um get it taken care of like right away but he was like out of town on his way into town so they did the fourth one just in case just to be on the safe side otherwise i would end up probably having to come back and get another aspiration done so when he i felt a little pressure um you know when they you know would push it in a little bit there was um when they were feeling it, I felt pressure on my trach, you know, right in this area. Or maybe the Adam's apple area. I felt pressure that way, and I let him know that. Um, but when they were doing this, I didn't feel it. So what they did, it, it the whole thing from the time I got into the room to the time I walked out was about maybe a half hour. Um, so it didn't take very long, but you got to include the setup and everything, you know, um, I didn't have to take off my shirt because my shirt was is lower cut, so they just put the towels around and everything. Um, it was supposedly the results should be in by Friday or Monday. I may just go to the hospital and get the results um, so I can have my own copy because otherwise I'm going to be waiting for the ENT. Um, I have an appointment with them in two weeks, and I don't want to wait that long. He did say that um, most of these kind of nodules are benign, um, so they may not end up doing anything but following up and having to just keep checking on it with an ultrasound. But since mine's rather large um, and uncomfortable for me, it's constantly making me clear my throat. And when I swallow, I feel it. Um, that I may end up having it removed, but we'll have to, that's something I have to go through with my um, ENT. He did, um, so you can tell where they went in and the numbness is starting to wear off now. Um, I did, they gave me an ice pack to come home with and they um, had me take Tylenol, but I can feel it when I swallow. When I stretch my neck right here, I can feel it. Um, I was drinking some coffee and I was drinking some um, my water and I can feel it when I swallow. So just achy, kind of like have a, kind of like the beginning stages of a sore throat kind of achiness. Um, but it is very just tender throughout here. So it's been. Let's see, it's, the aspiration was at 2.30, or it started at 2.30, we left by 3, so it was under, it was around that 20, 30 minutes, and now it's going on 5, so, hi kitty kitty, um, 2.30 to 3.30, so at least two hours, two and a half hours since I had it, and that is what I'm feeling now, um, but I wanted to let you guys know what my experience was. Um, it's, it wasn't too bad, except for the the ache and the original shot to numb me up. So, but otherwise, not too bad. Um, so I will update this when I get my results. So keep me in your thoughts and prayers, and um, hopefully it's just benign. Um, but I don't know if they're going to want to remove it or not since it's so big. So, all right, everybody have a wonderful day. Take care. And if I don't get back before Thanksgiving, I pray that you all have a wonderful Thanksgiving, which is in two days. So take care, everybody, and God bless. Bye.